silk, the production of its threads, and the weaving of these threads into garments and wraps both for men and women, was a highlight on the weaving tradition of Islamic Filipinos. Among the Tausug, the Pishyabit was a square textile prized for the intricacy of its design, as well as the suppleness of the silk thread. The tradition of silk weaving has long died out and is only recently being revived. But in the work of Darhata Sawabi, the colorful and complex design aesthetic of the Tausug Pishyabit lived on in cotton and commercial threads. Darhata Sawabi of Barangay Parang in Holo was perhaps the last master of this jewel of Philippine textile. Never married, she managed to attain financial independence through the weaving of Pisciabit, a woven square, 39 by 40 inches, took three months to weave. For her masterworks, she charged only 2,000 pesos apiece. This is the quandary that many of our traditional artists face. Darhata Sawabi was a master of this piece of Yabit. He really marveled at the intricacy of the design, very finely detailed, um, very colorful. We're hoping that we will find somebody who is as good as her, but we, because we know that she was not the only one uh, in her uh, town or in her province to really practice this tradition. And I really, really one of the admirers of this tradition. And that Hatasawabi's legacy should really continue.